Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel, the Backpack and Jewelry. And today I'm just going to do a video on something that I use for hiking, which is a great piece of equipment. It's a Garmin smartwatch. So I'm going to just show you some of the features and show you what I do when I'm out hiking and why it's great for me. So let's get to it. Right, so this is the Garmin smartwatch. It's the Garmin Instinct. So if you just look at the face of the watch, on the top there is the amount of steps I've done so far today. And that's the little graph that shows you when I've done the majority of the steps. The time obviously in the middle with the seconds counting down. On the bottom you've got your calories, how much charge the battery is in the watch. And on the top right you've got your date and the date. If you press the bottom left button, You've got my heart rate, which is a low of 43 and a high of 112. It's currently at 57, because I'm just sitting nice and chill doing this video. That's my activity for the day. Up to now, I've climbed two flights of stairs, walked 3,996 steps, and burned 1,888 calories. I've got no notifications on my phone. I've got no events on my calendar on my phone. There's the current weather, which I find very useful when I'm out hiking or wild camping. There's a compass, so you can see I'm facing just shy of east. Again, a very useful tool when I'm out and about. And it's back to the home screen where the time is basically. Okay, so on the right hand side, top button, you've got your hike function, which you can change to cycling, running, etc. And you can scroll down and you've got your navigate and track me which i'm going to show you on the other part of the video so it's a really good watch to charge it you get the usb cable that just plugs into the socket in the back there and it takes maybe half an hour to fully charge it and a full charge will last about a week when you're just using it as a smart watch and um, if you're using it as a for your hiking apps etc you might get a day two days out of it max it's very comfortable to wear nice silicon watch strap there you go i've just had an email notification on my phone so there's a classic example how you can use it as a smart watch okay so i'm just going to show you a few of other parts of it on a on the video of how i use it when i'm out and about so today we're going to use the track me function so if you press the top right hand button you get options like hike, navigate, and track me. Press the top right again. That sends the timer on. And you just press start. And what you do is, so that will remember this location. So when you go out hiking, if you ever get lost and you're unsure of your way back, you can click on that and it will show you how far away you are from your starting point. So we'll try that out today. Right, let's go. So as you can see, using them in the Garmin, the little triangle's where we are now, and you can see where we've come up, the snake's round. So if we head back, it's about two, 0 0.2 miles back to the original starting point, which is where the car is. So it's a really useful little feature on the Garmin. And you would just press that to stop it. And obviously delete it. Ah, back to start. Track back. And you've got like straight back. So there you go. That's telling you how to get back. That's the way we came. Or you can just obviously alter it to say straight line, which is if you were like, say, you're walking across fields, anything like that. Straight line. 
so you might not necessarily have to come the way you are. So there you go, 0.22 miles back to the car. So if we go down here and turn left, pretty much we're back to the car. Excellent. Now another reason I love using this watch in conjunction with my phone as a smart watch and a tracking app is you can also use this app which is called Relive that you can use to basically map any hike you do. It tracks you using GPS, adds any photographs you would like to add of any parts of the hike. For instance there, nice little photo. And then it shows you where you've been, brings you all the way back round shows you elevation and gives you the details of how far, how long and how high you've went. Right, so along with the phone, you can obviously have the app on your smartphone. So I've just got my Connect app there. Set that up. This is a great app to have to work with the phone. It gives you all sorts of information. So you just press that button and that automatically syncs to the watch. Just updates all your activity from the day. Now, if you can see, it, it basically tells you what you could see on the phone before about your heart rate, etc. Stress levels, how many steps you've done, how many floors you've done a day, which is great. So if you look on here, you've got the calendar option. Now on Monday, for instance, I did quite a long hike. So if you click on Monday, you can see there, my heart rate was a low of 50 and a high of 126. I did 18,000 steps. And, you know, there's all the different times I was walking, obviously between stopping and taking photos or videos and having a break. Another great thing you can do, if you go on challenges, there's all sorts of challenges that you can join across the world. Basically, how many steps you can walk, how many miles. You can do cycling. You can do steps. You can do running. There's all sorts of things on here. So, for instance, there... December weekend walking. So between this 22nd and 24th, you can join that and you can go on and do some walking and see how high up you can score. It's a great way to motivate yourself to get out there and to get walking, get hiking, and you can compete about with other people. It's just a friendly little sort of tournament, if you like. So that's how the app works. There's a lot more to it, but that's that's the that's the bit the, the main part of it, you know. Okay. So I hope you have enjoyed the video and I'll give you an insight of what the Garmin Instinct can do, especially if you're out hiking. Um, I love mine. It's, it's a really great little piece of kit. It gives us loads of information when I'm out hiking and wild camping. So if you've got any questions, drop them in the comments below. I'll try and answer them. And uh, if not, take care and we'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching.